Hi, this is Sapnil Bhartia and welcome to TFR Let's Talk. Today we have with us Gaetan Castellian, VP of Marketing at Tecton. Gaetan, first of all, it's great to have you on the show. Uh, yeah, it's great to be here. Thank you so much, Sapnil. Uh, tell us a bit about Tecton. Yeah, so Tecton is a company that was founded about two years ago. We are focusing on building a data platform for machine learning. So the company was founded by ex-engineers from Uber, the team that built the Michelangelo platform. And Michelangelo was uh, a platform for ML ops. So essentially helped Uber get from zero to running about a thousand models in production in just a few years. So a very successful platform. And the unique insight uh, from the Michelangelo team was that the biggest problem to getting machine learning to production isn't so much getting models to production, it's the data. Because the data is what has a lot of entropy, um, and that's really the piece that we don't have great tooling, or we haven't had great tooling to get to production. Uh, machine learning data is pretty unique. We're dealing with analytics data, but that analytics data needs to be served in production. And so that's really a new requirement because most analytics today over the past have been done in batch mode where you're essentially feeding decisions to a human. With machine learning, that's moving to real-time online predictions. And so somehow you need to find a way to operationalize that analytics data. And that really is a new requirement. It's something that uh, wasn't being done much in the past. And so the Uber team, Michelangelo team, built what we call a feature store. And the unique thing about a feature store is that it's a data platform that is designed for data scientists to help them build production-ready features and get them to production quickly and efficiently. So essentially, it enables data scientists to be self-sufficient with getting features to product. Um, and so um, at Uber, the team built this first feature store, was very successful. Um, and then over time, the notion kind of picked up. But when we founded Tecton, there really wasn't any commercially uh, available feature store. And so we uh, saw a big gap in the market. Uh, there's a lot of traction behind them at Ops. People are increasingly trying to get machine learning to production. But they're always still struggling with the data aspect of machine learning. And so we saw that as a big gap. And so we set out to essentially build a commercial feature store. It's inspired by Michelangelo, but it's a completely new product. Um, and so we first unveiled the company about a year ago. The product went GA uh, late last year. And um, and yeah, so we've we've had you know we we have uh, a number of great customers now. The company is growing fast, and uh, it's been great. Last week you had a big announcement related to Feast. Tell us a bit about the latest release, uh, some of the highlights, features. Yeah. So um, let me first give you maybe a little bit of background on Feast, because it's not it's not that obvious. Uh, so Tecton, um, so we've invested and we've built the Tecton feature store, and that's a commercial feature store. It's it's you know completely uh, it's code that's completely built by us. But we also saw a need for an open source product because, because essentially a feature store is very much like a development platform. Like it's a platform that's going to be used by data scientists to build new apps. And when you're building applications, uh, when you when you provide a platform for building applications. You want to make that platform as broadly available as possible. You want to get it into the hands of the people who are actually doing the development. And in this case, that's data scientists. And Tecton is you know, fully managed service in the cloud, so it's, it's easy to use, but it is a commercial product. And many data scientists have a preference when they're just getting started, when it's like a team of one or a small team. Uh, they have a preference for open source because it's easy to download. There's no need to uh, have a commercial agreement. Um, and so we, we've always wanted to have like this, this investment in open source. We think that's a key component of making the platform broadly available. Feast is the leading open source feature store. It was developed by Gojek initially, so the Indonesian ride-sharing company, uh, with help from Google Cloud. And um, it, it's now governed by the Linux Foundation. And late last year, Willem Pinar, who is the creator of Feast, 
joined Tekton as a full-time employee. And so we now have become the main contributors behind Feast. And the idea there is to build and make available the best possible open source feature store to make it really easy to access. And so what we're doing is we're trickling down innovation from Tekton into Feast um, to uh, to make that like a super compelling offer for, for like data scientists and small teams and do-it-yourself teams. Um, yesterday, we announced Fee 0.10, which is now available. You can go on GitHub and download it. You can pip install it. Um, and that's a major step for us on that journey to making uh, feature stores as body accessible as possible. What's new with Fee 0.10 is mostly that we've made it super lightweight and super modular. So it's delivered just as a Python SDK. It can be pip installed on a local machine. We're doing away with any specific infrastructure requirements. So you don't need a Kubernetes cluster and you don't need a Spark cluster. And uh, it's just the fastest way at this point to operationalize data that's sitting in a data warehouse and make it available for model training and online serving of models. Excellent. Thanks for explaining that and also about the latest release. Now, if I'm not wrong, you're also organizing a conference this week. Can you tell us uh, more about the event? So yes, indeed. We are organizing a conference this week. Um, the conference is called Apply. Uh, it is focused on data engineering for operational machine learning. Uh, it will take place on April 21st and 22nd, and it is completely free to attend. Um, now, what's unique about this conference is uh, it's really like the first conference that is completely focused on this problem of data engineering for operational ML. Uh, we initially wanted to get about 1,000 attendees and about 20 speakers, and then like it, it, it gained momentum. And at this point, we have about 6,000 people registered for the event. We have 40 speakers, 40 organizations, uh, about 30 talks. Uh, and I think it's going to be great. We have a lot of super interesting companies uh, from big tech giants like Google and Microsoft to small innovative companies and a lot of practitioners. Like The focus for the event is to have essentially practitioners speaking to practitioners. We want this to be a very informative conference that's focused on giving people ways to do their job better. Right? So, so it's going to be a lot of like very practical uh, discussions on things like tooling and uh, development best practices and architectures to get machine learning data into production. Uh, and so on the practitioner side, we have companies like DoorDash, uh, Netflix, LinkedIn, uh, into it, uh, Lemonade, um, Stitch Fix. And I'm sorry, I'm missing a few, but um, those are some of the, the practitioners that will be giving talks at Apply. Um, and yeah, so if anybody's interested in signing up, uh, the website is applyconf.com. And so it's a virtual event over two days, so you can just kind of jump in for any session, just a, some of the time. Um, and yeah, it's completely free and... Uh, yeah, easy to uh, easy to sign up. You did allude to that, but who are you expecting uh, to attend it? Or let's flip it that who should attend it and what uh, what will be their takeaway from this uh, event? Yeah, great, great question. So, um, so the event is really sitting at the intersection of machine learning operations, so ML ops and data engineering, and essentially anybody who is trying to get machine learning to production, whether that's a data scientist or potentially a data engineer or an ML engineer, anybody who is in that ecosystem of like actively working on projects and trying to deploy machine learning to production. Um, and then in terms of key takeaways, well, they're going to learn a lot of the latest techniques and, uh, and, and see some of the stacks that are used by people who are doing this at scale today. And so they're going to come away with a lot of like practical information on, on, on things that hopefully they can apply in their day-to-day -day jobs after the event. Gaetan, thank you so much for taking time out today and talk about not only Tekton. We have covered Tekton earlier, but it's good to refresh memories of our viewers, but also Feast, the new release of Feast, and more importantly, the, the conference. Uh, we look forward to attending the conference and I look forward to talk to you again. Thank you. That sounds great. Thank you so much, Swapnil. It was, was good catching up and speaking with you.